from Box Collectibles bringing you another toy review and today we are going over the final Ryu Soldier Mecha Kishi Ryujin uh, in chronological order it didn't come out as the last one that was Yoko Ryu uh, which was the last review uh, in the Ryu Soldier series that we've done but it doesn't line up with Dino Fury because it wasn't in Dino Fury unfortunately um, you know we've used or like the American footage has used like some uh, movie footage before from, uh, the Sentai, but we weren't able to bring it over here, and there was never really any interaction with this mecha and any of the other mecha in the series, so it just wouldn't make sense, honestly, if we used that footage. Uh, they would have had to bring the suit over and make their own footage, or do CGI, and we know how everybody feels about CGI. But, yeah, so this is, uh, the mecha for the for Geysorg in the movie, um, in the past, this was out, like, this was their original mecha before, uh, Kishiriyuo, so, yeah, it, it's a pretty cool set, um, it's basically just Tiramigo, but redone, uh, we have Dino, Dino Migo and the Cobrago, uh, little twin brothers down here, and then the Key, of course, uh, with a different mask, uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. First, we'll go over uh, Dino Migo. So we'll get these out of the way. Uh, and like I said, it's just a retool of Tier Migo. Uh, I mean, I like the color scheme. I do wish uh, it was more green. You can't really see on my camera right now. There we go. We got a good shine. Uh, it's like a blue-green, just really dark. Uh, it's similar to Mosa, uh, Mosa Rex uh, in color scheme, but it has some details that stand it out a bit better. Um, here it is with Tiramigo. To show how similar they are. And yeah, basically, uh, the Tiramigo or Kichiruo uh, original release, it came with these blasters and drills, so Dino Migo got the Cobrago as a replacement for those, so it doesn't have all the extra parts and bits for when doing combinations, so you have to uh, you have to, you know, improvise or just use the ones from Tiramigo, um, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, there's those. Let's go ahead and get Tiramigo out for now. He'll be back later, uh, for another comparison. Uh, the Cobrago, uh, they're just two little gold dinosaurs. Pretty cool. One has red eyes, one has blue eyes. It's, I'll show you how... <laughs> My brain wants me to have them in the, the Megazord mode. Uh, uh, yeah, so there's the two little friends. Um, now let's go ahead and transform it into Kishiryujin. Uh, so it's the same way that we transform Kishiryo. Uh, you want to turn this up. And yeah, I guess it's been a while since I went over Kishiryo like transformation. Uh, take the tail off, stand it up by pressing the button that's down here. So. And then it'll lock into place for the waist. Just like that, solid lock. Can't really, I mean, they can move, but you have to force them. Then the arms go down. Uh, and all the, the tail clips onto the back on these uh, Lego ports. Now for the Cobrago, you take the tail off. And they're not on there like in the Lego port. It has a, a peg hole for this and then a peg hole for that. So it just frictions in. Uh, and set the sword down. Um, so in Kishiryo Three Knights, pink is on the left arm. So it's left arm, our right side view. And then blue is on the right arm, our left side view. So I just put the red eyed one onto the left arm. And then the blue one onto the right arm. Uh, and then the swords don't have, the swords don't matter which side they go on. And then, you know, the typical key gimmick. We got Dino Migo's head here. It's a pretty cool looking key. Very similar to Mosa's. I always get them confused if they're like laying down on their back uh, like this because they just look very similar. 
Um, and then here we have the helmet. Very unique gold helmet. Uh, and then it pops in and locks in. So there we have Kishiryuzen. Uh, and so here's Kishiryuo in its basic form. Uh, and you can see the similarities, but there's just enough here with the Cobrago that makes it look even more different. Uh, especially looking on your shelf, like you wouldn't... I mean, obviously, you know they're part of the same season, but you don't know, like, that they're just straight remolds, like, off first glance. Because of these big shoulder pads that are given. Uh, and it adds a lot of detail. Um, so, we'll get Kishiryuo out of here. Uh, and I'll show you the one combination that I remember off the top of my head. It's the same thing with, like, the Dragon Fist. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. But it's different enough because of these and how you have to combine them so uh, to get them onto the arm like this. Uh, so this one you want here, and then this one you want like this. So this one's gonna stay the same way that it was on the shoulder, but this one you want back into its like standing mode. Um, so they go like this, and then you take Dino Migo's head and attach it to the Lego ports here. And then it goes on to the arm. And then you take the tail. And there we go. So now you can have it have this fist thing. Uh, and then if you want to, you can, of course, turn the head around. Uh, since they're all in Lego ports, you know, you can do whatever you need to. So have it look cool and uh, dragon fisty. So, you can get this back. And I just remembered, uh, there is one more mode. Uh, it involves, like, sword arms, which is cool because it's way different than what Tiramigo could do. Uh, you make, basically put them back into their, uh, Cobrago forms, like this. And then, since they have the Lego ports down here... You can clip them onto the arms. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he has like, you know, dual wielding like forearm blades, like Baraka or something, right? <laughs> so there's that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so now um, we're going to bring in Five Nights um, so we can show that anything uh, Kishiryuo can do, Kishiryuo can do as well. Uh, also, real quick, I know I did it in my original uh, Re-Soldier Five Nights review, but I want to show you guys again. This is how I display my Five Nights on the shelf so I have all the extra bits. Uh, the main difference is, is the arm uh, here with um, Tiger Lance's uh, connection. I put the waist down and then put the extra, like, this part right here onto here. And then on this side, I have Phil Needle's uh, head with the spikes. And then uh, Ankyros and uh, Trikin. I have their back halves connected to the cannons up here. And then also for the, all the other extra pieces, I have the other part of Tiger Lance here and then Mill Needle's uh, back legs up here. Uh, it's just an easier way to store everything. And it still keeps the aesthetic of Five Nights, I think, and it adds to it if you need to. Uh, just so, you know, if you guys are picking up this set uh, instead of the Dino Fury Zords because you want to have them all complete and everything and have Kishiryuzen on your shelf, this is just a way to have all the extra parts uh, added. You could probably do something like this with the Dino Fury Megazord. I'll go over that once I review those, uh, but for now, that's it. Um, so, yeah. For Kishiryuzen, to fit all this stuff, we have to take these off uh, and take off Dino Migo's head. Uh, so then basically just transplant everything over here. I'm going to do it with the original Five Nights combo. Uh, so, you know, you know what it looks like. So, yeah, for this Tiger Lance part, just take off this and then have it here onto the arm. Uh, the, the lance, the uh, cover, 
But all the ports are the same. So you just take the shield off, take off Tiramigo's head, take Dino Migo's head. This doesn't go. I'm just gonna set all the bonus pieces of, off to the side. Uh, for the chest, um, you know, we have like a couple options on what to do here uh, because we're gonna put keep the the drills on Tiramigo. So for now, we'll put the chest here, and then I'll show off what you can do to replace uh, the drills and uh, cannons. Uh, so this is the extra part. Cannons go to Tiramigo, Triken, and the same thing with Anchoros. Then these parts are bonus parts, so they go to the side. And then this part from Tiger Lance goes here. And then we'll put and then we'll put here we go back together into Kishiryuo. Little blocks flying everywhere. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, this is like one of my favorite toy lines just because of the playability. Uh, I've mentioned that a billion times now. Okay, so Kishiryuo back there for now. Here, we need to figure out a place for the Cobrago. Uh, they deserve to be on here. So the swords, um, Dino Migo's hands are still back here and they have the peg hole that fits this. So you can plug them in there. The little like, I don't know, wings or blades, back blades, I guess. <laughs> um, and they're like barely in there, but you know, they stick. And so you could have the Cobrago here, which looks kind of silly. So you have them on the chest like that. Or you have them replace the cannons on the shoulders. Just probably my preferred way to do it. Uh, just the way it looks and patches the cannons. You can have them turned down if you need to. But yeah, so there it is. The last Free Soldier toy. Uh, I'm not going to put some like Dino Fear name, but it would be like Void Megazord or something something uh and yeah so i mean i've enjoyed reviewing this uh this full full line for you guys now finally after two years of me starting this channel um finishing it off with kishu and uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys uh make sure to like comment subscribe uh i will uh you know start a new toy line here soon i have the don brothers mecca that i'm almost done with uh, i have two reviews left with that uh, make sure to check out the king oja reviews uh make sure to follow for more bacchus space uh episodes those are coming out soon uh if not already uh depending when you're watching this uh and yeah guys thanks for watching make sure to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram at bacchus collectibles and have a good power month